but are we both in enough? I don't know. Can we be closer? Yeah. It's like this for the whole video. Your <laughs> <laughs> skin's so soft. Okay, so what are we doing? So we're doing porn, so. No, we're doing we're doing a quiz. Oh, we're going. <laughs> we're not doing porn, Sarah. Doing porn. There's no porn involved in this. No, I'm. I'm no porn. We're not watching porn. I not, came not, on not, the not, basis we were doing porn. We're not making it. I'm out of here. <laughs> How are you, me internet family, and welcome back for another video. Why is there's not any wine left? <laughs> But I always think it's funny because I know you always start like how are you and family, but you say it so quick. How are you and family? I was like, I don't sorry. Think, I don't think people know that I'm saying how are you. It's an Irish way of saying how are you. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, but you say it so quick these days. It's so. Hello, me internet family. Welcome back for another video. How are you, my internet family? Welcome back for another video featuring my friend Sarah, who I had Hello. on my channel very recently. Um, we're doing another sexuality-based video today. Sure. Um, we are two girls who identify as bisexual who. Many people on the internet will be like, you're not bi because you're going out with a boy. And it's like, well, I have to go out with someone. <laughs> and it has nothing to do with my sexuality. So we're going to take a test to make sure. <laughs> yeah. Just to, just so we know. Just definitely. So we, what, what the internet tells us what we are. Yeah, yeah. And obviously the, the internet is right about everything. A big point we want to get across with this is that what you choose to identify as may not line up because both of us may be pansexual um, I think I probably could be mm, but I, I the only reason I kind of don't say that mainly is because a lot of people don't know what that word is and I do it out easy yeah. say bye so we're going to do a little test and we're going to see and we'll know for sure what we actually are <laughs> what if it says we're gay I know <laughs> you're asexual you, you don't like anything <laughs> what <laughs> why do I have sex all the time yeah. then? I don't understand <laughs> we're gonna link the test the quiz that we're doing in the description box if you fancy doing if you're a little bit curious, if you're a little bit confused about your sexuality, it might point you in the right direction. Or Probably not. we may be debunking it and showing you that it's completely wrong today. We'll just see. a bit of fun. Let's just try it and see what happens. Let's go. <laughs> what is the gender of your current crush? Male, female, transgendered, intersex, gender food, all is one. I do not currently have a crush. I never have crushes. It's a, it's a boy. It's a boy. My boyfriend is a boy. Well, um, well, I'm in a boyfriend as well, so I have to say male. <laughs> you want to have sex. Which gender do you seek out? I do not want to have sex in the first place. A female, a male, either a male or a female. Male, female, transgendered male, transgender female, intersex, gender fluid. I have a bit of a problem with this question because it's saying, which do you seek out? Mm -hmm. And like, I feel like if you're seeking out someone, for example, who's transgendered, then it's a bit of a fetish thing because I don't see, I see a transgendered male like as a male. Like I, yeah, yeah. Someone mm -hmm. who has gone from woman to man, I see I that it. as a man. Yeah, as the gender that they are. Are, yeah. yeah. I don't think of someone who's like transgender as a separate thing. I think of yeah. them just as a man or a woman. Yeah. Um, to me, and I also, with gender fluid, um, yeah, I wouldn't like, be like I'm only going to look for a gender fluid for yeah, this. Yeah, like, it seems I'll a just, weird thing. It's the person. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't go out and seek sex. I mean, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. a particular, like it's just like with a specific yeah. person. Yeah, it's just kind of like if I'm horny and there's someone who you're attracted wants to, to. Yeah, and wants to do it and I'm attracted to, I just do it. Yeah. I don't seek out. So that's I don't know how to answer this question. Yeah, I I would say either either a male, a male or, or female. female. Yeah, that that goes back to like the whole bi thing again. That just mm -hmm. it feels more comfortable. Yeah. Um, your non-sexual romantic fantasies usually center around so non-sexual fantasies. Right. I never have romantic fantasies. Females and then males, females, transgender males, transgender females, intersex, gender fluid, and then the next one is either males or females and males. Okay, so non-sexual romantic fantasies. Um. I would have to honestly hear say males mm -hmm. because like from growing up and stuff like that um, I bet you there'll be another question about like sexual fantasies because yeah. a lot more of that is about women yeah. we've talked about this before <laughs> I think if I grew up in a world where like say like a Disney movie would have like a princess falling in love with another princess yeah. I think it would be a lot more so natural you could I you know. imagine <gasps> Disney please do that please, please. <laughs> that would be adorable imagine Mariah from Brave with another woman and I've never been... seen Brave Get out. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going. <laughs> Fuck off, good riddance. She lives in Scotland as well. <laughs> <laughs> I come home to see me friends and they don't even want to see me. Um, yeah, I think with this one I'd go with males as well because mm. I've been in like male relationships and um, most of the guys, Media ma people who approach me are guys. So yeah. I'd, I'd say males. Isn't it weird that that has a big impact though? Like who 
approaches you almost like impacts your Mm -hmm. your thing because imagine if like way more people were comfortable with their sexuality and we had women hitting on us all the time yeah we'd probably be like even more gay yeah i know (laughs) but in fairness i've had like i've had a big because i love like when i go to bed thinking of different scenarios and yeah. I used to have this I thing. too oh, every I mean, night every, and it gets me to sleep like, like I, and sometimes you into a dream of what you're thinking of yeah. as well it's like so like I I'd had one um about falling in love with a girl and like how like how it came about and it was really really cute but mostly it's with males but I had that one and it kept on going for like a few weeks so I quite oh. like that fantasy about me falling in love with a girl so but I would okay I'll go with males your sexual fantasies usually center around Males only, females only, males, females, transgendered males, transgender females, intersex, gender fluid, either males or females. I never have sexual fantasies. For this one, I actually would go with that long answer of like everyone combined purely because sometimes like a fantasy will be based around a character from a movie mm-hmm. um, or like something I've seen, have seen in porn or something like that. And I usually don't like mind at all. Like I like willies, I like vaginas, I like boobs. Yeah. And it could be attached to anyone. So, like, and fantasies are, like, so broad. Like, for me, anyway, like... I don't know how to answer this one. (laughs) Because the porn I watch is all females. (laughs) But sometimes when I'm masturbating, I would think of guys as well. So, I I think it'll probably just have to be either male or female. Yeah. Because, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just go with that one, yeah. It's the safest option. You seem to form stronger emotional bonds with... Anyone? Males? females both males and females my answer for this because it's emotional bonds and it's not like talking about relationships necessarily Mm -hmm. i'd say anyone um because i do have quite a few gender fluid friends who i'm very close to Mm -hmm. um and even like some of them are other youtubers and like at conventions like we will end up hanging out the whole night together and stuff like that so like for me my stronger emotional bonds when i think of like my close the, the people i've had the most intimate conversations with and the closest connections with there are people of all across the spectrum. Yeah. So I'd say anyone. In a way, I would say males because with friends, especially, I have a lot of guy friends. Mm. But were you quite tomboyish when you were younger? Yes. Mm. Oh my god, yes. I wore like wrestling t-shirts. Yeah. And baggy <laughs> clothes, and I had long. I looked like a mosher boy. You know those mosher boys with <laughs> long straight hair. That was me. Oh. Um, but I'm gonna go with anyone because I can form a motion bond with anyone. anyone. If I connect with someone, that that's it. Like, yeah. So. Have you ever mistaken a crush on a woman slash girl for hero worshipping? What's the difference? No, I fancy women. No, but I have cases of both. That basically means as in like having a girl crush. I think like, you know, where for a straight girl and there's like a girl or a woman and they're like fascinated by them and they're like, they kind of almost want to be them rather mm-hmm. than they find them attractive. Yeah, okay. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I can tell the difference. I don't think, like, I do, one says no, but I have cases of both. Like, I have had hero worshipping. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't mistake, I, I can tell when I, when I, like, want to have some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know when I'm horny and I'm not. Because <laughs> I know I've had that where I've been obsessed with a girl or whatever. Oh, that's, that, I, it's hard. Do you always know if it's a crush or are you ever kind of like, maybe I don't fancy her, maybe I just think she's cool? Do you ever know? No, I maybe, okay. I think I know when it's a crush and when I know I want to just kind of be like her. I think it's actually quite funny. I feel like that with you. Really? Yeah, I kind of want to be a bit like, well, in fairness, I did fancy as well. Like, <laughs> so it's yeah, a bit of both. Did. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of both. But at the moment, I kind of want to be a bit more kind of like you, the way you are and the positive and the way you dress Aww. and stuff. Like, yeah. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Let's show them our skirts. <laughs> oh, lads, look at her. Oh, oh lovely. Uh, well, obviously you're still beautiful. I, don't, I wouldn't say I'd fancy anymore. <laughs> We're taken. Yeah, exactly. What if we weren't? No, I did both. <laughs> let's, just be, let's just do that. If an attractive person from either sex approached you at a bar, which person would you rather talk to? The male, the female, <laughs> neither of them. The sex of the person I talk to doesn't matter to me. I'd absolutely say that it doesn't matter because mm-hmm. it just, it depends on the person. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because um, if you're out... Uh, like, I, I went through phases when I was single where I was just, like, wishing a woman would come over to me. Yeah. So all uh, just yeah. guys hitting on me. And I was like, oh, like, I just would love to experience a sleazy woman for once, but yeah. just didn't happen. <laughs> With this one, I'm kind of like, why isn't there a, another fifth option that say both of them? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> at the Why? same time. Yeah. Think really hard. When did you start displaying gay behavior? Never. Young. Not that young, but I've never thought about it. I do like the same gender, but not exclusively. I'm not gay. After I encountered gay people and their behavior starting affected my own. Interesting. That's really weird because I saw it on a morning program recently. Mm-hmm. I think it was Piers Morgan or someone like okay. that. I don't like Piers Morgan. Mm-hmm. And he was saying something like that young people only like think that they're a certain sexuality or think that they're a certain gender when they see people online and that they're just trying to like imitate it and stuff like that. And I was like, no, like surely it's just that's opening up their mind and their world to stuff. Like yeah, yeah. there's a lot of sexual stuff that I didn't know I'd be interested in until I saw it in porn. Mm-hmm. I didn't yeah. I didn't get into it because I thought it was cool because yeah. it's in porn. I got into it because I got turned on by it because I saw yeah. it in porn. So um with this though I would say young. Um mm-hmm. yeah. I literally like wrote about that in my book. Like I was like really young when I started having thoughts about stuff and then it was like when I was older I thought that because of outside people saying things to me I thought it was wrong. I was like I know. Maybe I'm weird. Yeah. <laughs> I would go with this one very young as well because I, I, I had it in my, one of my other videos that I was about 10 when mm. me and my friend would just fiddle with each other's vi- vaginas. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know what we were doing, but that's... I know, but this is the thing. People get really freaked out about people talking about sexuality stuff when about when they were like 10 years old. Mm. But that's so common. Like, like that's when most kids start masturbating. And I don't think... I think mm. people acting like that's weird is actually just going to like end up shaming Shame any people. kids who yeah, across oh God, it. Or, yeah. Shaming people who did start at that age, it's normal. Yeah. Just so you know, if you're watching, if <laughs> you're normal. a kid or if you have like a kid or if you have a little brother or sister that you've found stuff out about, whatever it is, it's normal, yeah. it's fine. Have you ever kissed someone of the opposite sex? No, and I don't want to. No, but I want to. Yes. Yes, but I didn't feel anything. Yes, I liked it. Yes. I like it. <laughs> oh, it's an easy one. There's no explanation needed. Yes, I like it. <laughs> Many's the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Have you ever kissed someone of the same sex? So it's all the same options. And blah, blah, blah. Yes, and I liked it also. Because I kissed a girl and I liked it. But that's about boys and we kiss boys too. <laughs> Have you ever been physically intimate with someone of the opposite sex? All the same options again. Yes. And I liked it. Yes, I liked it. (laughs) There's a theme going on. Um, Have you ever been physically intimate with someone of the same sex? And it's all the same options and yes, and I liked it. I think I'll have to go with yes, and I liked it. (laughs) Have you ever been attracted to both sexes but felt a stronger attachment towards one? If so, what sex? Opposite, same. I feel same for both. I have never been attracted to anyone of any sex. I've been attracted to males and females at different points in my life. Um, attracted to both sexes but stronger attachment towards one. Like, I think... I've always been attracted to both, but like then, like when I think about like fantasies and stuff like mm-hmm. that, my my attachment would be to more toward women. Like even with porn, it would be more the woman's body. Yeah, you know uh-huh, I mean? uh-huh. yeah, definitely. Yeah. So all of my long term relationships have been boys. I'd just say same for both. Same. same. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Would you date a transgendered person? Yes or no. Um, I'd say yes, because I wouldn't, I don't, I don't mind willies or vaginas, yeah. I'm quite partial to both, but, um, for me, it's like, it's so much more to do with the person. Like if I got to know someone really well and then mm-hmm. I found out, um, it wouldn't affect me so much. Like I, I do think this is something that like I got called out for on Twitter is mm-hmm. that like, I have like lesbian friends who mm. are literally physically repulsed by willies. Yeah. And they've been kind of told that they're wrong to say that they wouldn't date a trans person and stuff uh-huh. like that. Whereas, like, I think it's everyone's own prerogative. It's just, I don't know why. The whole internet got into this big fight about this. I don't think it's their fault. I mean, lesbians like vaginas. They, yeah. they want to only be with vaginas. So they might be attracted to the actual physical appearance of, of mm. like, a transgender woman. But the fact that they don't want a penis in their vagina. So yeah. I think that's, 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 not, fine. that's fine as well. I, think, mm. I don't think there's any problem with that. 
Oh. I like both, so I yeah, it does not affect me. Stick whatever you want I'm up all, there. I'm all there. <laughs> Would you date an intersex identifying person? Yes or no? I've never met an intersex person. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't see it coming in the way if like I had feelings for them or anything mm-hmm. like that. Once they're like intersex as well. Yeah. Um. So, I guess yes. Mm-hmm. Like it's so. I think it's ridiculous for people to like say I would never date someone of this category. Mm-hmm. When they don't know no. all of the people yeah, of that category. Exactly. That, yeah, yeah. to me, is insane yeah. to do that. I wouldn't close myself off from that option. Yeah, yeah. Is sex an important part of a relationship to you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, not even a thing about that. Yes. The idea of the act of sex repulses you. No. <laughs> <laughs> In the future, you'd only ever feel comfortable dating and sleeping with... The same sex, the opposite sex, either sex, any sex dating someone I love but no sex um mm, like either sex oh, there's a, yeah either <laughs> there you go yeah. right. <laughs> on a scale of zero to five how strong is your attraction to the same sex so and the options are zero to five um so it's like <laughs> I don't like I don't like scales <laughs> no I don't either don't and it's it. also saying attraction to the same, same sex, sex like who of the same sex like yeah, I, don't I don't like all women, women. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not just women in general it's like very specific types oh my god yeah I'm very particular with my women so but but as as in like it's probably saying like strong. when you general. do when you do yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd give it a fucking five because <laughs> Jesus yeah. I get obsessed it depends on, on the, person. the person but pick the hottest okay the hottest female Oh my god, who's the hottest female that I find? Like, but it would be a five, right? It would de- no, yeah, yeah, I get obsessed, so yeah. it's it's a five. <laughs> On a scale of zero to five, how strong is your attraction to the opposite sex? A fucking five, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we get obsessed. I got, I got a fucking five, like. If they're a four, or, or if they're below five, what's the point? <laughs> hey, Mrs. High Standards over here. <laughs> Rate your sex drive from zero to five. Five. Surprise, surprise. It's a five. <laughs> My boyfriend's lucky. He is, yeah. He- oh, this is a difficult one for me because I I definely had a very high sex drive when I was like in my teens. Mm. I feel like it's gone down a bit, but it's weird because I still want the sex, but I, my sex drive isn't the same. Same, I don't yeah, get yeah. as horny. That happens to a lot of people. Yeah, it's, re- it's really annoying because I want to be horny all the time. <laughs> I want to. I love that. <laughs> body's fighting against yeah. you. I love that, like, the feeling of being horny um, all the time. So, um, give I'll it a go, four. I'll give it a four. I'll give four. it a four. Give you will be a five again. Will. Come on, vagina, work with me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when you were younger, did you feel a closer bond to gay characters rather than their straight counterparts? I wasn't exposed to any gay characters. No, they were weird and misplaced. No. Sort of, but they never truly represented me. Yes, and I never knew why. Yes, I related to them well. I would have to say there, sort of, but they never truly represented me because Mm -hmm. when I was grown up, and like when I was younger, Mm -hmm. the gay characters I would see were usually very flamboyant men. Uh They weren't like... Like women, women who were quite femme and stuff, and like who liked both. Like I just didn't really see that, so yeah. I'd say sort of because there was a couple like the odd time, but nah. I wasn't exposed to any gay characters as, mm. but as a teen maybe because with Buffy. Yeah, but yeah. even then I didn't even think about it that way. I was just mm. watching it as a show. I didn't really think about it regarding my life. So I will say so I no. wasn't exposed to any gay characters for for me. Has your sexuality changed over the last few years? No. No, I've always been straight. Yes, I believe in sexual fluidity. Yes, I've made a few discoveries, largely about myself. Um, I'd say no because I'm 28 and I've kind of been like sharing with people in my life that I'm bi since I was a teenager, so no. Yeah, I suppose, yes, I've made a few discoveries about myself. Yeah. Um, but I, I used to identify when I was about 16 as bisexual and then I mm. went to like, oh no, I'm straight. And then I went back. So but it's that's, a weird I, question. I, I call that sexual fluidity. Okay, okay, yes. Because that's quite, um, like, being sex, some people actually just identify as sexually fluid mm-hmm. and they don't even identify as, like, bi or straight or gay or whatever. They're yeah. just sexually fluid and they say, like, it depends on the situation, mm-hmm. you know? Okay, so I'll go with that one then, yeah. Love for you is? Between a man and a woman, between two women, between any two people who love each other, a sexless relationship between two bonded individuals. I'd definitely say any two people who love each other. Yeah. 
faux show. I think we're going to agree on a lot of these. A lot of these. Yeah. <laughs> so your friends are talking about their latest boy crushes. You are... Feeling left out with nothing to offer. Joining in. Not joining in because you don't really get it. Joining in, mates. It's like, boys are great. Woo! I, I'd be joining in, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Even if I, I didn't have any boy crushes, I'd still be joining in. Like, I wouldn't be like, what's going on what's here? What's the sitch? The idea of spending the rest of your life with a woman. Scares me. Doesn't appeal to me. Excites me. I feel as if spending the rest of my life with anyone is a scary thought. <laughs> the idea of spending the rest of my life with anyone, regardless of gender, excites me. Aww. That's really cute. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> it's I'd pick the last one. That's Aww. adorable. Because it's just like, it's like, like, you just need the person, you need the fuzzies, you need to love them and care about them and you need to <laughs> click. That's it. Yeah. That's it. The idea of spending the rest of your life with a man. And it's all the same ones and I would pick the same answer. And we're going to find out now what sexuality you are. I got pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we knew it. We knew it was going to happen. I knew it. <laughs> so what does that mean? Explain what it says here. So it says... Oh, guys, people are going to kill me now. Yeah. Like, representing the oh my bias. God, you're not bisexual. You're pansexual. <laughs> You have to retract all your videos. <laughs> okay. You are most likely pansexual, though you could be polysexual. Yeah. This means that in terms of sexual attraction and romantic attraction, your choice of partner is not limited by gender. Pansexuality can fall under the bisexual category, though it does exist on its own. So it does fall under bisexual, so I'm so still she, right. You're still okay. <laughs> you're still good. Well done. Well done. Well done, me. <laughs> oh! I'm different! So, wait, I'm actually not pansexual. How did you get by? I got by! She's right and I'm wrong! <laughs> but I feel, now, now I'm a bit disappointed. Like, I wanted to be pansexual. I feel like that identity. The quiz is lying, okay? <laughs> Fuck you, quiz! We're I can be whatever I want. <laughs> We're both bi, right? You're most likely bisexual. This means that in terms of dating and sex, you are most likely to seek out either males or females. This does not necessarily mean that you were equally attracted to both of them. It's very common to have a gender preference and still identify as bisexual. There you go. A lot of you guys ask me that question. Is it okay mm -hmm. to prefer one or the other but it still be bi? Yes, it is. 100%. It is also important to note that sexuality can be fluid. At some points of your life, you may be more attracted to one gender or for that to change at points in your life. Basically, lads. A quiz cannot tell you everything. It might, no. it might help if you're like confused and you have no idea what you are, mm -hmm. maybe a quiz like that might help. But, you know, if that, that's saying like, she wants to be pansexual but said she's <laughs> bisexual and I tell everyone I'm bisexual but says I'm pansexual. <laughs> so like, it's just mad. <laughs> pick one, go with that. You, it can change at any point in your life. You can, you can identify as what you want yeah. based on how you feel in the moment. Hope he's liked the video. Yeah, yeah. Hope it was good. We did one on her channel as well. We did the whisper challenge. Yeah, come on over. Go on over. It's quite funny actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and give give this a thumbs up and a comment. Then head over to her. And thank you for watching. Yeah, thanks so much. Guys. And I'll, I'll bring her back. I swear. I bring her back. I brought her Soon. back. I brought her back because you asked me to. Did they actually? Yeah. Lads. <laughs>